Hey everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Tackle Productions. Today I am Bancroft being joined once again by James. And Fluff, are you returning? I am. I, I'm What's hungry. going on, everybody? Jimmy, What's up, people? Wait, is I here, Jimmy? Bro, I've been here the entire time. What are you talking about? Why didn't you introduce me, bro? You and your... Hang on, it's not been 30 seconds yet. Uh... <laughs> I cannot see the Discord screen, you asshole. I, I can. I got you. I got you. Don't get demonetized. Fuck you, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, that was good. Because I have my, my other screens, the uh, OBS, so I cannot see <laughs> the Discord. That's good. Thank you. Thank you for getting me. All right. So, this since Jimmy broke Bancroft, um, today we've got a duel. Today we've got Bancroft with his green TN deck, and we've got James with red Nappa. And I guess Jimmy is just here because, well, like me, he feels like it. So, yeah. before we get I, into... I heard about the two bald dudes going at it, and I wanted to watch that. Why? So. Sounds like a good Tuesday to me. Yeah. But, um, this probably isn't Tuesday when this comes out. But, before we get into the deck, make sure to like, subscribe, youtube stuff, let us know, shit below. So this, I bet it, guys. This is our second time playing this match. So, the first time we played it, um, we kind of really you didn't really know what Tian did you kind of did your normal Nappa deck and there was definitely misplays on both our parts so we decided to go back over on untap and replay the game and you played it completely different so it, it made me completely change my strategy as well <laughs> yeah um, because I think when we played in person that was the first time I really saw Tian played um, so I did not know what to expect out of it. Uh, so I came into this one a little bit more prepared. Yeah. So you, you chose not to swing with your leader because you did not want me to block with Chao Tzu to get off the effect of, uh, yep. the blocker plays a three drop team, which has a barrier. So I'm like, fine, I'll just play a Goku. <laughs> Yeah, and Fat Goku it doesn't stay long, if I remember. I think I can um, combo it off eventually. Yeah. So now I've I established two good blockers, hoping that maybe you'll just eventually take the bait and swing. And I force myself to awaken, because you could just awaken using Activate Main, where I have to swing and take a life that way. Yeah, I I love being a... Um, being able to self-awaken with an app up. But right here, I'm just, I'm still playing passively. I don't want to give you options to awaken or uh, block. Um, I'm digging for my resources. I'm thinning out my deck, making sure that the stuff that I am drawing has more value. Yeah. And here, yes, I could have charged a super combo and went with the uh, playing the uh, Mercenary Talents on the board and swing at you that way. I, don't, I, I chose to keep the super combos because I knew eventually you were going to go off, and I knew I, I had to make sure I was able to protect myself when the time came. And here I got rid of the the, the Goku because I knew you were going to target it anyways. So this way, yeah. if you chose to use your your uh, one-drop effect, you would hit one of my Chaozus, but you choose not to. Yeah, I um, I don't want to give you that TN yet. Um, I do forget that the TN has barrier, so I think next turn is when I intentionally gave you the TN, and then I remembered, oh, it has barrier. Yeah, I should not have done that. But I think uh, on the turn that I um, give that to you, I've got enough pressure on the board that it's not too much of an issue. Oh, here's what we learned that I had the multi from already on the board. <laughs> yep. So he, he's, Bancroft is just cheating like normal. He's got four leaders. So for those of you who aren't familiar with it, when you make a deck on Sharon's Lair, sometimes the it gives you the wrong leader. And I'm like, no. So I, I went and told Untap, this is my leader, put this in the leader spot. But I did not adjust the number from four to one. I, I've just started refusing to change the leader when it gives me a wrong one. <laughs> It was, I, I've had I've had I've had set three Bardock as my leader for launch for like a month now, and I refuse to change it. Anytime someone asks me, I'm like, "It's launch, bro. Just trust me." Yeah. So what happened here is that you you neg the Chaozu out, 
so it wasn't technically KO'd. Yep. And that was a so you don't you don't get the effect off of that one. Um, and then I opted to uh, not KO with the the death of the other one. Yeah. Because I wasn't ready to deal with the uh, the TN yet. So the TN doesn't do anything. It's just a, a single strike. This deck wants to control the board. That's fair. Uh, so here's where I do swing in, knowing that you're going to get that TN out. Um, because I've got another something in my hand. Uh, this deck just burns through them, so it's either a, uh, I think it's the Unison. So I was planning on just playing out the Unison, doing the Pop Cybermans and that shenanigans, yeah. but forgot that this deck, that TN has barrier, so walked into that one. Um, but I've got enough pressure on the board right now that it's, it's not really a huge concern. Yeah. So here I just pass with three. I believe you're... Yeah, you're, this is the turn where you could awaken. Um, so... so I, This was a tricky turn. So my team, I came out swinging with team at all. And truth be told, looking back at it, getting that top five search with the uh, five drop again was nice. I should have charged one of those four drop mercenary towels. Because the idea here was I could have super combo bottom the towel because I could get myself down to four life this turn. Um, and then play the, the three drop, swing of that, potentially do damage shoot, and then play the four from the deck. But I chose not to awaken this turn if I'm correct. Yep. Yeah. Just uh, kind of. I as soon as you swung um, and did, and I knew that you weren't going to awake, felt more comfortable um, spending that energy. I left standing with three because obviously I had an exploiting weakness in hand. Yeah. Um, in case you do awaken, I can clear out your tokens. That's that's exactly what I was going to comment on. Seeing the state, uh, James passing with three open energy, it tells me that he's either got a topo. Or an exploiting weakness Vegeta yeah. in his hand, ready to stop everything. So Bancroft playing anything this turn really steps into James getting some kind of value. And it's equally as devastating for Bancroft to just pass the turn without playing any cards. Yeah. Because James essentially loses the value of those three energy. He could have spent those in his turn. But he's just sitting on those three open energy. If you don't give him an opportunity to use them, it's kind of a wasted turn for him. Yeah. So here I'm playing the Mercenary Tau to pop his one drop to uh, Cyberman right now. And I, if I recall correctly, there was a little bit of confusion there, but we cleared it up. I go ahead and swing with it. I thought about playing the Krillin to uh, pop your Nappa as well, but I think I ended up swinging Tau instead. Nope. Nope. Oh, hang on. You were thinking about it. You I were thinking about, thinking about it, but you didn't. It. Yeah. Here we go. And I wanted to... Yeah, here's a super combo. And this is where I put the towel on uh, the bottom of my deck. Never remember those shortcuts. I think it's why, but whatever. You take the damage. I tap the one energy for it. And you... Like you said earlier, you pay three energy for exploiting weakness, and I think even in the match, I was like, "You had three energy. I knew you had that. Why did what? <laughs> like I knew it was coming, but I did it anyways." Yeah, and I was waiting to bait something out. Yeah, unfortunately, it's I'd rather you the four drop. Yeah, but with you at two energy, um, I don't expect much more to come out. That's fair. Um, so I'm okay just getting my value out there, making you pass on two. Yeah. So this was a very... So here's, here is where I did a whole lot of math and came to the wrong conclusion. So I was under the, the impression that uh, the summoning of the three um, TN tokens was not optional. Uh, so I started this turn out 
um, playing out Kuitsukai. Because um, I didn't need a Frieza to be gumming up my works. Um, so I play out the Kuitsukai, I awaken to get that last energy back up, and then get my Gohan out. Uh, since you're at um, for life, I know that I can hit you, yeah. get that guaranteed damage off of uh, Gohan, leaving you at three, and then you would have to crit a life every time you played something. Yeah. So, in my mind, that locked you from being able to um, awaken, because I did not know that those tokens were optional. Um, so I looked at your energy, you would be at five next turn, uh, which means you wouldn't be able to cheat out the Goku. Yeah. Um, because if you cheat out the Goku, you're going to have to play out a battle card. Um, and then that's one life, two life for the Goku, and then three life for the TN. So I thought I had you on checkmate here because um, I thought you weren't going to be able to awaken without playing those tokens. Um, now that I know, I would have played this a lot differently. Yeah. Um, I had a Violent Rays in hand. I would have left myself the one energy after awakening. Um, to be able to shut down those TMs. And here, I'm just trying to not take the damage because my next turn is very crucial. If I can survive this turn, I have three life left. If I were to play a battle card that's 20k or under, I have to crit a life. And me going off requires me playing two battle cards. So here, I'm just doing everything I possibly can to not get hit, and I do not want to awaken just yet. Just correct me if I'm wrong. Tien, his awaken is play three tokens. You may play three tokens, one. and then it, draw up to one card. Draw up to one. card. No, no, sorry. Restand, restand up to one energy. Restand one energy. No draw. No draw because you're playing three tokens. Yeah, yeah that is that is still a huge hit to Tien not being able to play out those tokens. Yes. Because even though they're only they're only 10k tokens, correct? Uh, yes, but they have five. They do have combo power five thousand. But yes. Yeah, like you're basically losing out on th three battle card plays or 15k worth of combo power with that card on board not taking those tokens into play yeah like, it's still a massive hit to tn uh, i i don't know if that would be game changing in any situation but it's definitely you're losing out a lot of the value of playing that leader yeah and here you can see i was debating about negating and i'm like wait i would have to what, warp two cards and critical life i think Yep. And I was like, ah. So I ended up doing Dormant Potential again just to KO the Nappa. Give you one less combo card. It's just taking me a while to think about it, apparently. Yeah, you, you pondered this one for, for a bit. Because I wanted but, to play the Goku and Tien next turn. Yeah, and... Uh, negating with that announcer would have shut that down. You could have played him, but you would have been committing Sebaku, so... Yeah. Yeah, it would have definitely... Um, I would not have been able to go to the fullest that I potentially could next turn if I could not establish that. So here I just go... And I, I don't know why I pay for an energy because it's not a once per turn on the auto, if I'm correct. The permanent. It's just if you have a, a unit, so you can just play it, right? I believe so, yeah. So, I don't know why you did either. So, so here, I'm I'm trying to push um, as much as I can to, to bring you down to two. Because yeah. if I can get you down to two, um, you're pretty hard locked down with whatever you have. So here, I'm checking my drop, seeing what's in there. Because I'm trying to figure out what I could combo with. Um, because ultimately it breaks down to I have to combo from correct either the Tien or the Goku from my hand as well, just to not take this hit. And I choose to go with the Tien because I've only seen two Tien so far, but I've seen three Gokus. So this way, um, the chances of me using, uh, the leader swing, the draw, the, uh, unison ability to draw gives me a better chance of hopefully seeing a Tien on board. And just to make sure we didn't misplay this, Koizakai is only during your turn, right? 
Yep, only during my turn. Okay. So here I'm debating about not even charging. Because I'm just in a really tight situation right now. But ultimately, I will charge a card. And here I realized, I was like, oh no, I messed up. Because I can't play Goku for cheap anymore. Because I had the combo off the TM from my board. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why. We actually did a little cut. Um... Because it took me longer to realize this. I can still pay four for the Goku didn't awaken <laughs> and have enough energy for Tien. If I yeah, pull and... it, obviously. The the question here is getting it. Now, I at this point I thought you you definitely had the TN in hand. Um so I didn't know you you top decked this, so lucky you. Um well, I, I but... picked, yeah. <laughs> Using right, the, uh, look at that team. fifth card. Yep, that's oh so lucky. But still, um, on the previous turn when I was looking at your energy, doing the math, I did not know that you could awaken without uh, yeah. doing those tokens. So this took me by surprise. Um, I pulled out uh, two of the green cybermens by just cycling through the unexpected casualties activate mains, just to give me a little bit more defense. Um, but the Goku and the Tien, when you have them both on field, I just, I did not have the resources to get around that. Yeah. So that was my, my downfall on that turn was doing the Quetz guys, and we, uh, we even instead made sure, of leaving myself in energy. We, we called, like I called Jimmy, I think you mentioned Jimmy on discord. Like we, we, we did cover bases to make sure that was correct. <laughs> Cause yep. you know, Jimmy's our judge, right? Exactly. I'm the all powerful. I know everything. Except for when I don't. Then it's a lie. <laughs> <coughs> so I think this is where my brain's finally like, oh yeah, I can just do this. And I crit the life. Yep. Puts me down to yada yada, two life. I go ahead and awaken. Choose not to play the tokens, resend one energy. Um, and then turn around and play Tien, which kills your board for the exception of, I think, the go hunting. I think it's five or less. Because um, go has barrier. Yeah, go yeah, has barrier. Uh, also, Bancroft, you cheated. You didn't awaken all of your leaders. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, so this yeah, was a very... So good... You heard it first, guys. I won this one. <laughs> So the reason why I chose to swing with the leader first, then except for Goku, is I wanted to see if you had an after image, and you just comboed out of it. I'm like, okay, then I'm going to just swing, and that was game. <laughs> you couldn't combo out of it. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no after images. Had a violent race, but didn't leave myself in energy because like, I thought I had you in checkmate. If I could turn back time, I uh, would do that last turn a whole, whole lot differently. Oh, for sure, yeah. Um, and I'm looking for a rematch. We may not record the rematch, but I'm looking forward towards it. Yeah, anytime. So Let Bancroft cheat again. Look, just because I play a theme based deck with three cards that aren't theme based, Jimmy, doesn't mean anything. Yeah, it means a lot. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Um, is, uh, is someone correct me? Is Baby Hatch a, an Android card by chance? Is it part of the? It's Machine Mutant. It's Machine Mutant, not yeah. Android. Yeah. But Jimmy plays Baby, which is a theme deck. Yeah. But so, he his Android sixteen deck is pretty damn close to a theme deck with a weird. Yeah, secret. I don't call it a theme. Deck. I just want to make sure. Okay, fair. You got me there. All right. With that being said, we're ending this video. Thank you all for tuning in. Once again, there are buttons. Click them, please. James, last words. Well, at least we had fun getting there. Remember the bug planet? <laughs> Jimmy? I, I don't even know how to follow that up. <laughs> That's why I said your uh, name next. Yeah, that, 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 that one hurt me. Um... I, I guess if we're going on anecdotal type stuff, uh, I, I found a copy of Celeste on the Nintendo Switch 
as like the steelbook copy in a old storage building my dad bought. Pretty fucking dope. Check out the game. It's actually really fun. That's pretty cool, actually. And Flop, yeah. would you lead us out? Yep. And James, yes. We can keep it. As always, read your cards, know your plays. Fluff out. <laughs>